Today I'm going to show you how to make a um, DIY storage organization boxes as well as DIY foam stamped wrapping paper. And I'm going to make that wrapping paper and wrap it on top of these organization boxes um, so that it makes for a cute addition in your home. You can store it outside and it still looks cute and not very cotton boxy. So the materials for um, this project is I have some of these um, fresho uh, cotton boxes that um, came with fruits in them. Um, I have about six of these. I have a two and a half inch tape, scissors, glue, foam sheets or little foam itsy bitsy pieces and I'll tell you what I use them for and how I use them. Acrylic paint, I have here uh, fabric paint and I'm not going to go out during this lockdown and buy acrylic um, but I'm going to use what I have. Um, any object that you can use as a roller, <clears throat> like a rolling pin or this is actually from a leftover uh, wrapping paper tube um, or you can use toilet paper rolls or I also have here a bottle that strangely looks like a tube so I can use this as well. And lastly A4 sheet papers. I have here color papers that I purchased for another project and I have a lot left over. You can use these color papers that makes for a cute addition or you can use regular white A4 sheets as well. Start with what I've done is I've taken all six of my boxes and um, these boxes actually came to me So what you're going to do is actually take all six of these boxes and uh, um, th these came with uh, lids like this. So I actually trimmed down all the four sides of the lid to ensure they uh, tuck back in neatly so they don't come out. And also I have strengthened it by um, using tape uh, to secure the bottom so that it doesn't it doesn't open up later. Um, I've done this for all six boxes. Another thing is if you're using something glossy and shiny like bottles or plastic, um, you will need hot glue gun to adhere your foam pieces against the tube. But if you use regular cotton tubes like these or, or your toilet paper roll, then regular school glue will do. Here I'm using glitter foam from actually a previous project uh, which where I had cut them out into triangle pieces but you can cut stars, you can cut circles, you can cut um, uh, miniature Christmas trees, uh, you know, the, the, your creativity can be whatever that you want it to be. Um, but you can use regular foam as well and not glitter foam and also if you have your brushes here to give it two different colors for the foam. So let's get started. All right, now we'll glue uh, the foam pieces onto the roller. Come here. Okay. Here's the glue. This little drop will do. That's it. It's not. Not like that. Just. Just a little will do. Now can we add the pieces? See I'm adding one here, can another I one here. Can I yes you can. So now what we'll do is we'll use paint, um, paint the foam pieces and then we'll keep these um, 
color paper on the floor and uh, roll away so that you get the foam stamped uh, wrapping paper right here. Let's get started. Good. Look, we've got our own foam stamped wrapping paper. This was the outcome after um, we made those handmade wrapping papers. Uh, we covered some organization boxes that came as cotton boxes um, and some of them my kids have already started using for hat storage, um, for this swim costume and these fit in snugly and well inside our drawer and uh, also, I also did cover one of the uh, larger boxes which will be used as clothes or toy storage. Happy crafting! You can also use bottle caps um, to stick your foam shapes uh, in whatever shape that you want and then you paint them and you stamp them against the paper to form a pattern. We'll see that now. Paint them like so. Go stamping. This again, you can do multicolor, you can have a couple of bottle caps ready. Like so, and you make your own stamped. Paper. Like this you can use wrapping paper to cover for organization um, cotton boxes. And that's how it comes. You can also use um, little um, earbuds and dip them in paint and then stick them across in alternate colors and then it will come out like a different. Pardon.